Hello and let's talk about wrestling and India's farmers. A few days ago, on January 10th to be precise, a dangal was held at the Ghazipur border of New Delhi in support of the farmers who have been protesting for more than 50 days. As we know, the farmers are demanding the repeal of the three agricultural laws which they feel will drive down the prices they get for their produce and will also allow later, greater corporate role in agriculture. Now, from the very beginning, a distinctive feature of these protests has been the fact that a large number of sportspersons have joined in. Some of them have said they will return their medals. Many of them have visited protest sites. And India's wrestlers are no different. In fact, wrestling is a sport with deep roots in agriculture, with very close connections to agriculture. And today we have with us Leslie Xavier of NewsClick News to talk about what exactly these links are and the significance of wrestlers joining in these protests. Here is what we have to say. Thank you, Leslie, for joining us. So a lot of curiosity was sparked by the dangle that took place in the farmers' protest. But something we've been talking about over the recent episodes also is the fact that sport and especially wrestling very closely connected to India's agriculture sector. But a lot of people don't know really, really don't know the details about it. So could you maybe start by taking us through the kind of links that are there between that sport specifically and India's vast uh, that diverse agriculture sector? Uh, well, if you look at Indian sport in general, there is there is that indelible link with 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 uh, the villages, and I mean, with villages means with agriculture because that's the predominant uh, I mean economy that's prevalent there. I mean, uh, so last month when many prominent athletes, former Asian medalists, Asian champions, uh, Olympians, when they uh, walked up to uh, New Delhi to uh, to the parliament to uh, return their awards, Arjuna awards, Kail Ratna, Dronacharya, and it was, I mean, it was an act of solidarity with the with the farmer struggle, but it was again, a, I mean, at that point we had discussed this also that it was, as I, I mean, show of, I mean, it was evident proof that the link that farming has, I mean, agriculture has with Indian sport. And what fuels Indian sport is, is there. It's there in the villages. What fuels Indian sport is actually the farmers who are protesting there uh, at, at the Delhi border. So uh, last year, last month's uh, march to the parliament was led by Kartar Singh, a former Asian champion, uh, Asian Games champion in wrestling, a great wrestler of his days. And of course, I mean, at, at, his, at his peak, he was considered the pride of Punjab as well as a country. So, Kartar represents that quintessential wrestler, if you ask me. I mean, from, uh, I mean, be it UP, be it uh, Punjab, be it uh, Haryana, be it Maharashtra. Uh, everywhere, if you look at it, country's top wrestlers or country's wrestlers have been supplied by the villages and indelibly their, their, their families are farmers uh, or connected with farming. Or connected with cattle rearing, it's 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 that's that's how uh, the narrative has been right through, even in ancient times, even pre-independence era, when uh, the star wrestlers of the country were under the uh, care of local kings. If you look at Gama, for instance, so. Uh, Though these kings or these, uh, I mean, the rich of, of those era were the patrons of wrestling as such, but the wrestlers were al always supplied from the villages. The wrestlers were always, I mean, invariably from, from a farming family, from, uh, from farmers, among farmers. And so that connection of farmers with wrestlers, because they consider them as, as one of them, and also they consider them as elite among them that way. Because sport or sports persons in villages, they look up to sports persons as, as people who, who have stood out, who have fought the odds and who have got out, but not necessarily getting out of the culture as such, but got out to, to bring out that culture to a larger. So, so the idea is apna village ka naam roshan karne ke liye. That's the, that's the thing, if I can say it in Hindi, that to bring the name of our village outside onto the outside world and show them that we are strong people. And that is India's strength in any case, agriculture has been our economy's strength as well, which, which sadly the governments have, have failed to understand or failed to recognize and have been uh, devising uh, policies which are going 
completely against it. So that that connection has been there from historic times, and it's it it continues even now. And the fact that this dangal was organized in the in the in uh, at the Gazipur border, and organized by uh, the mats for the dangal, for instance, was supplied by Chandigarh Makada, which is in in civil lines, old Delhi, and uh, wrestlers are were from all over the. Uh, the akadas that are strewn across delhi because most of the akadas elite akadas are are are, are in delhi so but but these wrestlers belong to villages in punjab haryana up uh, so they were here and almost all of them post bout if you look at videos of 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 reactions of these wrestlers uh, post bout they were all saying the same thing which is i uh, mean asking the government urging the government demanding to the government that listen to the farmers and repeal those uh, uh, laws which will ultimately kill the farming sector in the country absolutely let's in this context could you maybe take us through the larger culture of uh, dangals and akhadas itself and in terms of how they're rooted in the local economy for instance and how exactly they function and maybe even what is their connection to when we talk about wrestling in the context of you know say the olympics or asian games so how do they sort of feed into each other as well that's something that's quite interesting Uh, well, for a for a, for a common Indian that way, who are not connected to wrestling and the I mean not belonging to the hotbeds of wrestling, so to speak, uh, the popular general idea of dangal has been provided by the movies, the the ones that that came out in Bollywood. But then it's it's also a slightly incomplete idea that's been provided because the story narrative and all that obviously was glamorized or centered around certain characters. uh but dangal the economy of dangal is 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 pretty much connected with uh, with with the rural economy which is centered around agriculture like i said and also uh uh, uh milk production and i mean uh, re- related industries farming related industries so uh when dangal i mean dangals are organized at, alongside festivals if you look at through the through the year and season invariably uh, skips the height of summer so it's it's either post monsoon or early spring uh, i mean towards spring and both of the, both both these seasons happen post harvest and invariably if you look at across the villages and uh, if you look at punjab for instance almost all the villages organize their local dangal Where I mean, small, big, it it depends. Of course, at a larger scale, at the national level, there are Hind Kesari's that happen, uh, national Indian style wrestling championships that happen, Hind Kesari happens, and many huge mega Kesari uh, bouts are there, dangles are there, where where prize purse can go up to one crore. That involves a lot of sponsors, local companies are involved, and at the same time, landlords are involved, and also farmers and large and small, they also chip in. the smaller dangals is what, what fuels uh, indian wrestling at the basic level at the grassroots level because if you look at uh, akada uh, the wrestlers who come in are from poor backgrounds even the i mean now if you look at bajrang punia for instance india's number one wrestler at this moment uh, former world number one he is currently ranked world number 3 and uh, world championship medalist as well so he he comes from a farming family and in haryana and he also i mean a farming family which was not well to do at all and his res- wrestling has fueled brought that family up from from poverty he was one of the first persons to react by the way on on social media supporting in solidarity for and it's surprising because generally bajrang stands has been pro government on social media but then this this time they say, i mean i mean many athletes have come out that way saying and that, that's the connection so uh, a typical wrestler in an akada i mean their wrestling career is fueled by these dangles so they make money out of the dangle for their diet and also possibly if they are earning well enough they could give it back i mean give back to the family as well otherwise their wrestlers diet uh, requires a lot of money ghee uh, badam and the necessary protein pulses and all that uh, so it's a it's a self serving idea where you earn from the bouts 
and you put it back into the sport and you grow enough so that you earn from the bout and you put it back into the family into your life bring it up so i i during my wrestling days i was i mean obviously the focus was a little different because we were i mean academics was big too so i i couldn't find myself training in arakada year and attending dangles as such but my brother my younger brother when he when his time came to push his game up i since i had competed by then in north india quite a lot i had some contacts and all that so we decided that we'll give him some time in in north india to understand to bring his wrestling up as well so he was based in patiala uh, at gurmukh sakada in patiala and also intermittently he was training at the sai center in patiala also he was not a camper there he was not part of the national camp but he was training there and so from the from the akada a team used to go for villages when they invite come so the organizing committee of of a particular dangal would pay the akada also a, a blanket amount of money to supply its wrestlers and uh, so, so so the akada earns from from the from the from the this thing uh from sending its wrestlers to to a dangal and then the wrestlers travel to the dangal venue and uh i happened to accompany him in one of those dangals so uh, i i'll specifically mention the experience in that one so it was a very remote village in fact so remote that i don't remember its name and it's it's been a little back also it it was i believe in 2003 so uh we reached there and it's a huge field and it's it's very clear that agriculture has happened there and it's 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 possibly in between crops so the next and it was in may so height of summer so uh, possibly post monsoon they would i mean uh, around just before monsoon they would be planting the uh, crop whichever crop they were cultivating there so huge field and in the middle of it they had set up the dangal and people had convened there and it's 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 an informal uh, setup there's no stands as such there is a Uh, a partition a cordoned off area where the wrestlers are supposed to uh, supposed to wrestle and it's loose soil but it's not exactly an akada soil either so it's it's semi hard so it's 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 the idea of among wrestlers is that this soil will test you because it's if you fall you might get hurt as well so this so that's that idea of soil and wrestling and strength from the soil and all these are i mean it's very palpably evident when you are there in that thing the energy the idea the philosophy of wrestling rural wrestling and indian wrestling in general so as a wrestler you walk in so my brother walked in and uh, you stand in a line and uh, opponents can choose each other based on their body weight and the kind of challenge that you can expect from the opponent and so the idea is that you go and tap his hand to basically do this that means you are challenged him for the bout and then they are given time to warm up get, put their jangias on and come back in and then the wrestling happens and wrestling is i mean whoever wins it's done so there is no bout timing as such some some bouts go longer some bouts go shorter and winner and loser gets the money and immediately so the organizer pays money so uh, if if you are a entry level uh, wrestler so at that point my brother was a entry level wrestler junior and coming in and initial days in the akada etc so uh, if he uh, if he wins he would get he would stand to get 250 to 500 rupees and if he loses again immediately money is paid for the appearance it's it's basic so uh, if you are losing about at that level at the junior most level you will get under under rupees so that's more or less the bus fare or the diet i mean food for the day or something like that so it's not a wasted effort for the wrestler to travel all this way to wrestle as well experience gain plus some pocket money for for the for the travel uh, so this again the money given to the loser that also shows where this idea is organizing of a dangal is is coming from it's basically organizing something to ensure that the sport is alive continues to be alive the wrestlers thrive i mean they make a living whatever small or big the living is from there they could make that living in turn what are the farmers getting it because the crowd was predominantly farmers i am sure uh, at that point there must have been some local landlords or businesses who are who would have pumped in a little extra money to the association who is organizing it for organizing its assets 
but then money was also pumped in because they are paying for the entertainment so I mean, so it's 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 a release for them because you're watching sport and wrestling is a is a great sport a great spectator sport and uh, after after a hard toil in the field through the season you are getting something to celebrate it and it's very evident that 90% of the crowd over there were poor and one of leo's teammates one of my brother's teammates he he was again not a top level wrestler as such he had a slightly longish bow he entertained the crowd and he made some nice aerial throws bow was tight and and possibly lasted for around 12 minutes to 14 minutes and then the victory so victory happens and then the dol guy would come in and then the dol guy at taken him uh, took him around the uh, uh, the dangal venue where uh, he had a small towel like thing and so these villages i mean because they uh, he entertained him with great wrestling the villages were putting in some money whatever they can be 10 rupee note or 5 rupee note or whatever they were putting in money and he comes from a very poor background as well so everybody knows that this money that is being put in is hard earned money and they are putting it in because they know for sure that this wrestler also has earned it with hard hours in the in the in the akada toiling sweat blood and and then entertain them and so and they also realize is young age is potential possibly to take it to an international level possibly so that's that's the whole idea so what binds these wrestlers with these farmers and the villagers it it's sweat i mean uh, if i i feel like funding then sweat equity uh, uh, but yeah it's it's that this that idea of toiling in the soil that connects the wrestler with the farmer and that that connection continues and it has been there from the ages and it continues right through so a uh, uh, dangal beat large or beat small it's driven by uh, by the villages it's it's driven by uh, an economy which is centered around villages and we know what that economy is we know what 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 that idea of 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 life and sustenance in a village is and that's 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 what drives i mean i can i can i mean blankly say that without any doubt that what drives indian wrestling is is uh village the villages and of course then it becomes agriculture so agriculture. when the wrestlers got into the uh, mat at at gasipur border uh, it was it was very clear that they were giving back what they received and in their own way whatever mm-hmm. means and they want to be part of this struggle as well so that was very evident and absolutely thank you so much rajiv for talking to us That's all we have time for today we'll be back tomorrow with more news from around the country until then keep watching news click